We've been getting a lot of questions about how we bag our rabbits. So that's what we're going to talk about today on the homestead. Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. This is Kevin and Sarah with Living Traditions Homestead. And uh, we've been getting a ton of questions about uh, what type of bags we use to bag our rabbits after we process them. Uh, so uh, today we're going to do an overview of the bags that we use, uh, the size, where we get them from, and show you how to use them. Um, the bags that we order come from a company called Texas Shrink Bags. Um, I believe their website is texasshrinkbags.com and um, we've been using them for quite a few years now and they work really, really well. Um, we order one size, we order a 10 by 16 bag. Um, the 10 by 16 is probably just a little bit on the big side for rabbits, uh, but it works really, really well for our chickens. So we don't really want to have to order two different sizes and then keep them straight. So we just use the one size. Uh, they work good for the rabbits. Uh, they just end up being a little extra tall. So you end up with a little more on the top when you're done, which really is no big deal. Uh, so uh, we're going to show you exactly how we uh, do this. And it's an easy process. Uh, this way you can put them in the freezer and you don't have to worry about freezer burn or anything else. Uh, let's get started. So the bags look like this. Uh, there's a couple things that come along with them when you order them. Uh, you get uh, one of these straws. Uh, this straw will go down inside the bag when you're bagging the rabbit and it helps get the air out of the bag when you dip it into the hot water. Uh, the other thing is they're going to send you a bunch of zip ties. Um, and these are what actually help, you know, close the bag up. So what you need is a pot of hot water. Uh, you don't want it to be boiling, but you do want it to be close. Uh, anywhere from 185 to 195 degrees is about perfect. Uh, it's only going to take five seconds to dip the rabbit in and pull it out. Uh, so you're not going to keep it in long enough that you need to worry about cooking it but uh, you do need to have the water hot enough. You'll be able to tell after you do quite a few if the water starts to cool down that the bag isn't shrinking nearly as much as it did when the water was hot. The other thing that comes in uh, very handy um, which doesn't don't come with the bags but I bought these on Amazon are these heat resistant gloves. Uh, I've burned myself doing this um, so these are a good investment. I think I paid maybe 10 or 15 dollars for this pair uh, but they really help out a lot you can dip your hands right in the hot water and not worry about it so so we've had this water on the stove for a while uh, I just like to use a meat thermometer to check the temperature of the water I'm pretty sure it's going to be just about right So it's about 192 degrees, so that's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get a rabbit ready. Uh, we have a couple in the refrigerator. We let our rabbits um, rest for at least 24 hours before we bag them. And that allows for like the rigor mortis and stuff to like set in and then relax. So you end up with a nice uh, tender rabbit rather than a tough one. So I'm going to get one out. I'm going to rinse it off. Uh, we put them in the bags a little bit wet so that they slide right in rather than stick and you don't have to uh, fight with it. Alright, so it is easier if you have two people doing this. Uh, we always do this together. Uh, it just makes things simpler. So, uh, I'll hold the bag. Sarah's got the rabbit. We just put the rabbit in the bag so that the back is down. Then, what I'm going to do is gather the bag up, put the straw down inside. You want to make sure that the straw is not touching, um, you know, the end of the straw is not plugged up by any part of the rabbit. Once you've got the straw down inside, just twist the bag. And then Sarah will put the zip tie on. At this point, you're not going to put it super tight, just as tight as you can pull it with your hands. I'll put on a glove, and we dip it into the hot water for five seconds. And 
and you could hear the air coming out. You probably couldn't hear it on the video, but you can hear the air coming out of the straw. And you can see that in just those five seconds, it's now completely shrink wrapped in the bag. Then what we do is as I'm pulling the straw out, Sarah will take a pliers and pull that zip tie really tight. And then just cut the end off the zip tie. And there we go. Look at that. It's completely uh, shrink wrapped. It's going to prevent it from freezer burn. Um, now, you know, these bags are, they feel thin when you first get them, but once they shrink, uh, they're nice, heavy bags. Uh, we'll show you one more. All right, so again, I'm going to hold the bag. Sarah's going to put the rabbit in back down. Put the straw down inside the bag. Twist it. Zip tie it. And dunk it for five seconds. And just like that, another perfect sealed up rabbit. Now, if you wanted to, uh, you could cut this part of the bag off. Uh, we don't, we just leave them, honestly, makes them easy to carry. Um, but that's what I was talking about, that these bags are just a, probably a little too long for the rabbits, but they still do a very good job of shrink wrapping the rabbit. These are ready right now to go in the freezer, but one tip I want to share with you about freezing meat, you need to freeze them in a single layer. So if you have like eight of these, don't pile them all on top of each other in the freezer. You need to spread them out so that there's only one of them for it, the freezer to work with to freeze. Otherwise, it's going to take too long. Um, then after they're frozen, then you can go back and, right. and pile them on top of each other. Uh, that's fine, but initially when you're freezing them, they need to be single layer. So you guys, I hope that this helped answer some questions for you about how we bag up our rabbits. Uh, we'll leave a link to the uh, poultry bags uh, below. Uh, if you have any questions for us, uh, leave those in the comments below. Uh, if you're new, uh, new to our channel, uh, we hope you'll hit that subscribe button before you leave. Uh, if you've uh, been watching us for a while, thanks for coming back. And until next time, you guys, thanks for stopping by the homestead, and God bless.